the matrix. Two axes. One's all about the attitude and values of the person. The second one's all about the skills and the results that they're producing. All right. The A player is someone who sits in that quadrant. Okay, these are the type of people who are what I call the bone in your business. They have a solid, they're never going. You can rely on them to run the business almost as good as you, perhaps in fact better than you, if you're not there. It's the A players, you've got the B players there, and the B players have got the great values match, but they don't have the skill set just yet. Okay, they can be groomed that way. We then have a lot of C player, and the C player has the ability, has the skills, but their attitude sucks. They've got the entitlement mentality. They believe they you know, should look, be looked after. They've got a cancerous attitude. We've got the C there because that's what they are. They infect the rest of your organisation. These are the type of people who whinge and moan and complain. They're never happy. These are the ones that bag you. They bag the organisation. They whinge about, the, they whinge about everything. Yeah? These are the ones that keep you up at 2am in the morning. Yeah? Who can rely? Okay. And then we have the Ds, and the Ds are the, the duds. <laughs> so the duds should be there in the first place. That's a really bad eye. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to groom the Bs to the A's. You got to provide a pathway for them to get to that stage. And I would recommend in many, many roles that you're better off having someone who's got a great attitude and wants to learn and groom them up to be an A grader rather than accepting someone who's got all the experience but their attitude sucks. Okay, D's is just debt moment. You know, you know they're entire. Do them a favour. Free up their future. Yeah? <laughs> Give them a pathway to go and do something that they're much better suited to. This is the challenge. There's two options. Okay? C players, you can do one or two things. You can apply chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapy. Um, well, first, actually, the first thing, once you can cut them out. Okay? Who's ever known someone who had cancer where you just go, Ch cut it out? Painful, it's short, it's sharp, but it does the job. <coughs> the other one's chemotherapy, where you need to apply what I call the one week to success program. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the conversation with them, and when you say, listen, we know you've got the skills and abilities, we know you can produce the results, but the reality is you're letting yourself and the business down in these areas, and you have the amount not matching the values. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you one week to, to you know, show that you are still up for the challenge and still part of the team. It's called our One Week to Success program. And our One Week to Success program means at the end of every day, I'd like you to email through to me a detailed report of all the things that you've done and the results you've produced and the contribution that you've made to our organisation. It's called micromanagement. And there's one thing that C players detest, that's micromanagement. Yeah. So one of two things will either happen. They'll either recognise that they've been a pain in the backside, they'll step up, they should apologise, and they'll recommit themselves to becoming an player, or they'll leave, because they cannot handle that type of micromanagement. Yeah, so the daily activities, the results you produce, and the contribution you've made to the organisation. That and alone, that request could have them leave, okay? which is much better than you having to ask them to leave. Does that make sense? Okay, so we want to get rid of them. So when you've got A's and B's in your organisation, they only want to attract what type of people? A's and B's. A's and B's. C's won't want to attract A's because it makes them stand out. Letting C players, and what I talked about in this last slide here, is that with the C's and the D's, there's one thing that slows an organisation down and will have your A players leave if it is you, as a poor leader, allow C players to hang around on the team. You see it in sports every single day. You know, you see management and top level committee allow highly skilled players who've got bad attitudes to hang around on the team. And it taints the team, it taints the reputation of the industry. You know that, all right? So do yourself a favour, let them go, and I'll tell you what, the A's and the B's will thank you for it immediately. And by the way, as you know, those people who've already let C players go, that the collateral damage that you find out about starts to come undone. Yeah?